you are about to experience an incredible crypto video that will show you how ICP is changing everything. And I'm going to show you a whole bunch of data behind this that once you see this, you'll be like, wow, how do 99% of people not know about this? And if you know about this before everybody else does, ICP or Internet Computer Protocol is in one of the best positions I've ever seen to absolutely explosively take over crypto and jump from where it's at into the top. So what I'm going to review here is a bunch of data that will cut through all of the weird things people say and all of the trifling stuff that people use to dismiss ICP because the facts, the what is incredible is that ICP is so well-rounded. If you don't know what I'm talking about somehow, internet computer, you might not notice it just scrolling through crypto charts. Some of these other cryptos might look like they're so superior, but wait until you see what I'm going to show you. And this roundup I'm going to present is Zero to Hero, the ICP October roundup, which is on his website at zero to hero gang.com slash blog, where he has summarized all the biggest things that have happened in ICP in October. And when I looked at this, I'm like, how does anybody see this? I mean, most people haven't seen this, but once you see this, it's like, God, this is obvious. ICP is so drastically undervalued that one day people will look back and be like, how did I not get 100x out of this? And uh, how did I miss this obvious 100x? So if you look at his ICP October roundup, there's so many big things on here. For example, there's a huge surge in demand for computation on ICP. And this is what makes ICP different from every other crypto out there. This is what makes ICP special. And look at the amount of ICP burned that just blew up in September and October. If you look at the year-to-date ICP burned, it was in the thousands before this, and it absolutely exploded from 3,000 to 142,000 ICP burned in just one month with really just one application, Bob, which yes, I still need to do a video about, and a few others but mainly largely from Bob driving this massive explosion. One single application absolutely blew up the amount of ICP burned. Even though it dropped a little bit in October from the peak in September, we're still up right now. If I could do some math in my head really quickly, we're up like 30 plus times the amount of ICP burned from August to October. That is explosive growth. Now, this is something you might think, well, so what? Other cryptos burn fees. This is different. This is people burning ICP to pay for computation. This is more like paying your Amazon web services bill than it is all these other cryptos that burn a percentage of a transaction fee. This is being burned for real computation on the network. And that is something that can continue and that has grown on average consistently the entire length of the network. Other cryptos, you'll see these explosions and fees as apps and bots come off to pump their transaction fees and then all that tends to disappear. This is something that this will generally go up and up and up and up. And this could even lead to ICP being deflationary. And you can check this yourself on dashboard.internetcomputer.org under the cycle burn rate. And what you'll notice, the network has just seen the biggest explosion of computation it has ever seen in the entire three-year history of the network. If this isn't the most massive bull signal I've ever seen, I, then uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Like This is nuts. This is a proof that your real business system is flourishing. Now, no other crypto has this because no other crypto is a real scalable world computer. There's tiny, essentially... The rest of cryptos can barely process transactions and tokens. This is running entire websites, entire applications like OpenChat. If you go to jerrybanfield.com, God, does he say this in every video? If you go to jerrybanfield.com, which is hosted on internet computer, that is pulling transactions off of ICP. When you click on OpenChat, this is going directly to an application that is hosted fully on the blockchain where... I just gave 170 people yesterday some of my JJ, JBB, J, I don't even know my own meme coin symbol, but I just gave 170 people some of my meme coin for free in here. I'm doing giveaways every day in this channel. This is an example of what ICP can do that nothing else can do. And this is an example every time I send 
a message on here. This is using cycles, which is leading to a tiny amount of ICP being burned. So the more open chat, the more Bob, the more all these applications on ICP get used, we are talking about more and more ICP being burned. And this is absolutely sustainable because things like Amazon Web Services, where people pay to host their websites, those have done nothing but go up and up and up and up in the amount of usage. So ICP has an incredible potential to just go up and up and up in the amount of actual computation the network does. And if you look at this in terms of fees, I mean, there were, and some of the haters were looking at this and being in the past, well, well, ICP is a tiny amount of fee burn. Well, it just shot from 21,000 to $1 million and now hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like this is a 40X from August to October in the amount of fees and August a 50X in the amount of fees. And that is from reverse gas fees. So that is developers paying. I'm not paying a fee to post a message in open chat. I use open chat for free. And then uh, the developers burn ICP to let me do that. So this is a massive spike. If you look at this compared to other blockchains, October revenue, ICP absolutely dominant here. And uh, when you see this is an outlier, this is something that's not working like everything else. ICP just exploded from not even hardly being on this chart, barely being on the bottom the month before to, I mean, look at this. Look at how these are valued too. If you go to the top charts, look at how Avalanche is valued three times higher than ICP. Now look at the revenue. And remember, this is not people just paying a gas fee themselves. This is something that can go uh, 10, 100, 1,000 times higher as the network keeps growing and hosting real applications like OpenChat and uh, my website and Bob and so many others. Look at the valuation of these near. Look how near is valued, almost 50 plus percent higher than ICP. Now look at how ICP has just exploded. And this was with one app. This application, Bob, that blew up, I mean, this is blockchain on blockchain. This is something that is a world's first where someone has launched an entire blockchain directly on ICP. This is not even that big of an application. And look how this has shot up the revenue on ICP. You have the canister growth too. ICP has had one of the biggest months it's ever had in people deploying new canisters on ICP. Meme coins are starting to go nuts. I'm telling you, there's no other crypto ecosystem that is hot as this right now. That's why after 10 years in crypto, I'm all in on this. I have been for a year. Uh, if you've known me at all, I'm always all over things before they blow up. And then when they blow up, guess who goes up with it? I was all over Facebook marketing in 2013. Guess who blew themselves up and got to be one of the biggest gamers in the world on Facebook? I just was seven years early, but I was in position. I was on Udemy when like nobody was on there. I've consistently get in these things when they're tiny, like ICP. And then when they absolutely explode, look at it. Just just look at it. Like this is, I've done this over and over again in you know, my career as a content creator. And uh, research this. Look at this stuff. Look at the block time, for example. Zero to Hero does a great job of putting all this data in one place on this post on his website at zero to hero gang.com. ICP processed three point, has processed 3.9 billion blocks since Genesis, look at the block times on ICP compared to these other blockchains. I've seen people that are shilling other coins. They literally will take ICP off or not put it on there because it makes their chain look so bad. Look at the block times on ICP. You're having a in block time in seconds, 0 0.01. That's because if you look at the dashboard, ICP is cranking out a bunch of blocks, like 75 blocks a second right now. If you compare that to the rest of the chart. I mean, look at Solana and look at how big Solana's valuation is compared to ICP. 88 billion, I mean that ICP, it would need a, like a 30 or a 40X to get where Solana's at. Now look at the block times. I mean, it's cranking out like 30, 40 times as many blocks as Solana is. And look at some of these other ones. Some of y'all have been hyped up on like Cardano. I mean, 20 seconds to crank a block out, 20 seconds.
to crank a block out on Cardano, and it, it it's valued several times higher than ICP. And I see that this is the stuff I'm seeing that everybody's going to understand this at some point. But by the time ICP, ev by the time everybody gets this, you'll have missed the opportunity. The opportunity is seeing stuff where everybody else does. If you're wondering, well, how many people are on to this? You, uh, there's stuff, tens of thousands of new addresses. And now this does not count exchange wallets. This is retail stacking ICP. In the last six months, you've had tens of thousands of what I would say uh, the smart or informed or retail stackers who are doing it directly on chain and not on an exchange. Tens of thousands of ICP addresses with a balance greater than 10 have been added. You've got several thousand with a balance greater than 100 have been added. And uh, you've got oh, about 1,000 in the last six months. Now, this is net. So when somebody is dumped, this includes replacing them and adding more. So we've added, it was 14,500 with addresses greater than 1,000, and we're up to 15,200. So retail is stacking ICP constantly. Now, as I showed you in my price video before, some of the big wallets and the big investors are not onto ICP yet. And I went into the reasons for that in the video. Once the big investors see that they're going to miss this, either they're going to get into it or they're going to miss what was one of the most obvious, greatest investments of all time. So they're going to be more big investors that pile into this and accumulate huge amounts of capital. And then ICP with the retail stacking, plus when the big investors come in, this is going to really go nuts. If you look at, here's another metric. ICP is recognized as a top 10 performer in social activity across key narratives. So if you look at all these different projects, and now ICP does the least manipulation I've seen of the socials out of any of these other projects. I've seen firsthand as a content creator how bots are very frequently used to manipulate the social numbers. And I would suggest at least half of these on here that are not ICP are where they're at because of bot manipulation pushing their posts. ICP, from what I see, does not have bots that go push the content on it. It appears that people involved with the inside of projects usually are pushing bots, either investors or project insiders themselves. So if you look despite that, and this is ICP has a huge amount of organic retail grassroots marketing on social media, which puts it in the top three projects by deep in social activity or decentralized physical infrastructure. And I'm not going to name any specific projects, but some of these projects that are at the top have blatant bot manipulation on their account and no real value for their project. Probably half of these on here do. ICP, real world asset projects by social activity. ICP is fourth on here. DeFi projects, ICP is up here in the top, and I, that is huge room for growth. DAO projects, ICP is second in DAO projects. And then the NFT projects, ICP is third. So if you look at this across the board, like these are some of the best social metrics out of any crypto, despite if you consider the social metrics versus the market cap, to me, that's what's special. I would not be as hyped about ICP if it was... In terms of an investment, if if it was up here where Ethereum's at, which to me, that would be accurately valued. An accurate value for ICP's technology right now, to me, would be 100x from where it's at today. The price would be $700. And then I would say, okay, this is probably a good investment, but it's accurately valued. I'm excited about ICP because based on what I'm showing you, based on these other crypto projects... ICP is so drastically undervalued right now. It is at least undervalued by a hundred times right now based on the things we're showing you, based on the other projects that often are, from my point of view, nearly worthless fraud and lies that are valued more than ICP. Now, if you look at, you want to get an idea of how much ICP is processing, it's processing the equivalent of millions of Ethereum transactions a second. That's how powerful this is and that's what sets it apart. Right now, it's doing it right this second. One, the equivalent of millions of Ethereum transactions a second, and it peaked higher than that. And all of the metrics are looking fantastic. As Zero to Hero shows on here, the canister state has grown to six terabytes. Again, a big increase from fairly recently. So if you look at this, this is the entire 
state of internet computer protocol a year ago and it's about five gigabytes or it's about five dollars per gigabyte to put a gigabyte fully on chain and in the last year the amount of data on chain has nearly doubled that is a fantastic sign this is looking like the it took two years to get 3.6 terabytes on chain it took one year to get to another three terabytes on chain and i would estimate a year from now we'll be looking that this will be anywhere from 12 to 100 terabytes on chain which will be a, again a massive increase it will be on par with what we've already seen but that kind of massive increase going to mean a lot more icp being burned to pay for that a lot more applications growing and putting more data on chain and lots of new applications coming on this if you really want to see how icp is different the millions of instructions executed per second this gives you an idea of the raw power of the world computer now do let's do a little logical thinking for a minute it, when we're investing in other cryptos that have tiny amounts of instructions they can execute per second are those really going to be scalable into the future are those gonna and they're all basically doing the same kind of computations this is where icp nothing else is even close to the amount of raw instructions that icp executes per second you know you have uh, hundreds of thousands of millions of instructions executed per second and uh, from what i see there's nothing that even can do more than a few percent of what icp can do in the raw amount of instructions executed per second which gives it a unique value proposition and it keeps getting better if you go down here and look at the developer engagement look at the github stats and this every time i check this icp almost always is at the top in the raw number of developers engagement uh this here's your sign like this the next project on here is valued a hundred times higher than icp then you've got cardano which is valued multiples higher than icp and a few of these other ones are valued higher than icp and they have a fraction of the developer activity multiple sources are consistently labeling icp every month as the most active cryptos based on the sheer amount of building that is happening on the network and unlike on other networks where other networks cannot process the computation that icp can and then they're offloading the computation back to centralized stuff like amazon through things like ipfs to mask that it's going back to centralized infrastructure and to try and quote call it decentralized on icp when people are building on icp this is building on the entire network which is increasing the computation so when an app blows up on icp like bob it is directly on the icp network and it's not having like the amazon bill blow up it's blowing it up directly on icp which makes all the difference in the world so if you look at this this token is another active crypto based on nine the most active cryptos based on github data for nine months icp is literally double the next one and if you get to something like it's triple the activity on bitcoin it's about triple the activity on Chainlink. And think about how much bigger those are than ICP. If you want a rough sign of where things are going, consider where things are being built and where developers are doing real work. Zero to Hero also did some nice comparisons, like the transactions per second. ICP, 8,000. Solana, less than 10% of that. And then you look into the millions of transactions that, or the millions of instructions it can execute, as I just said before. Solana 90, like no, no, anything after that, 90 million instructions that can execute per second. ICP, 200,000 million. This is the difference. This is why I'm saying once you understand this, you will see how this video changes absolutely everything the way you think about crypto. This is raw computation power. 90 versus 200,000. Do I need to break the calculator out? 200,000 divided by 90 that's 2,000 times more powerful of a computer if you just want to think of think of Solana as a computer think of ICP as a computer ICP's computer is 2,000 times more powerful than Solana's and it can scale infinitely and just adding more nodes you just have to keep adding more nodes I look at that 2,000 times that's why I say ICP 
it feels valued accurately be 100 times higher. You can look at the energy consumption. And here's another one. Look at the cost to store a gigabyte of data on chain. $5 versus 35,000. And for people, I've seen people doing Solana videos who will go on and on about ICP's inflation and how bad it is. You know, just, just look at that right there. And here, another thing, look at the developer growth. Plus 64%, minus 55. And the story continues with every other crypto that Zero to Hero compares here. Things that people are hyped up about that are holding. I mean, look at, do we even need to talk about how utterly dominant ICP is when you try and compare ICP to SUI? And this is, like, if you look at where ICP is at and market cap, and you were to look at SUI, I mean, a lot of people would think that SUI is a much bigger, superior blockchain, but... You know, you look at it for a few minutes and it's like ICP is drastically undervalued compared to SUI. It's it's extremely obvious. You look at something like NIR. Again, go back to the chart and look at where NIR is valued at. And then this is essentially, people wouldn't see that there was a huge difference between the two of these. Except the transactions per second is 60 times higher There's than NIR. There's 72 times as many blocks a second, the amount of instructions executed absolutely near compared to Solana is superior by quite a bit. But again, it's absolutely nothing compared to what ICP can do. And uh, the cost of storage, again, is it's like if you look at 50,000 versus five, it's like 10,000 times as much money to put data on the near blockchain. The, the code commits, ICP is shredding. Developer growth, ICP is going in the right direction. And uh, the reason this is happening is because these other blockchains cannot store meaningful amounts of data directly on chain. The on chain storage is prohibitively expensive. And if you're like, well, why does that matter? You need to have your data directly on chain so that it's, it's cost effective. So you don't have to use these third party things, but most importantly, so it's secure. Because when you have all the data on chain, then you have real the value of the blockchain is there and it's real. Whereas when, it, it, does it sound like decentralization when you're putting stuff off chain that then some centralized third party has control of the Amazon Web Services account where it's hosted? That's not secure. That's totally eliminated the value of the blockchain itself. So we've seen ICP has actually gotten, it, it, it has narrowed the gap where we could be deflationary. If this growth on the network continues, ICP could actually be deflationary. And Dominic Williams says that the ICP has experienced a 500% year-over-year growth in computational activity. That is going to lead to a price explosion at some point. And when it happens, it's been suppressed, it's been down. And when it happens, wow, are we going to absolutely rip. So Zero to Hero support, you can continue reading this for even more details. There's some more things about proposals and cycles burned there, there was a project called Kong Swap that raised millions of dollars launching on the ICP launchpad this month. As I've shown in other videos, ICP is the most active DAO in all of crypto. I only I haven't even showed this yet, but if you look at chain spec, you look at the fastest trans blockchains by transaction per second, number one ICP. And this excludes things like query transactions or vote transactions on Solana. I mean, just look at this. The number one in real-time transactions, ICP, is more than five, six times higher than the next best, which is Solana. And Solana is valued right now like 30 or 40 times higher than ICP. If you just look, just break it down to something utterly simple, blockchains by transaction, I mean, ICP is already number one. To me, it's going to be number one up here once people figure out the truth. Oh, and... uh a real world asset gold token, a revolutionary, most advanced gold technology that just launched on chain as well. There's so much more. This, to me, I hope this video really changed how you see crypto. Because when you see the stuff I'm talking about here, you're going to be in position when other people start to figure this out. And people are figuring this out now. I hope you know this before everybody else does, because I imagine it will be extremely valuable for you to know this and tell somebody else about this too. If you enjoyed this and want more, go to jerrybanfield.com. 
you can chat with us in open chat. I have giveaways there every day. This is fully on chain and you can see the technology and use it yourself completely for free. Just by going to my website and joining open chat, I have a one-on-one -on -one call. I'm about to start one of those right now. If you want to talk to me, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one call. I also make music. And if you really want to get to know me, check out this autobiography channel. This, I think, is the best thing I'm creating today. You can binge watch all these different days of my life. And there, there's, some, there's some fun stuff in there. I think you'll really like it. I'll hope to see you on the next video soon.